I really haven't seen this many people in one place since they took the group photographs of all the criminals and lawbreakers in the Ronald Reagan administration. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 225 of them so far. 225 different people in the Ronald Reagan administration have either quit, been fired, been arrested, indicted, or convicted of either breaking the law or violating the ethics code. 225 of them. And Edwin Meese alone, <laughs> Edwin Meese alone has been investigated by three separate special prosecutors, and there's a fourth one waiting for him in Washington right now. Three separate special prosecutors have had to look into the activities of the Attorney General. And the Attorney General is the nation's leading law enforcement officer. <laughs> See, that's what you got to remember. This is the Ronald Reagan administration we're talking about. These are the law and order people. These are the people who are against street crime. They want to put street criminals in jail to make life safer for the business criminals. <laughs> They're against street crime. Yeah, they're against street crime, providing that street is in Wall Street. <laughs> and the Supreme Court decided about a year ago that it's all right to put people in jail now if we just think they're going to commit a crime. It's called preventive detention. All you've got to do now is just think they're going to commit a crime. Well, if we'd have known this shit seven or eight years ago, we could have put a bunch of these Republican motherfuckers directly into prison. <laughs> Put them in the joint where they belong, and we could have saved the money of putting these country club pinheaded assholes on trial. <laughs> Another thing you got to remember, this is the group of people who were elected with the help of the moral majority. Elected with the help of the moral majority and the Teamsters Union. <laughs> That's a good combination. Organized religion and organized crime working together to help build a better America.